Hi everyone! Welcome back to Self-Improvement with Sue. My name is Sue, I will be your host today. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is my second video in my series. I started this series because there's a bunch of things that I want to do better in my 20s. If we learn and grow together and all talk, that is what this video series is for. Don't mind my computer, just my little notes here. And you guys know, you don't have to be in your 20s to watch these videos. I feel like everybody needs a little bit of self-improvement sometimes, or even just some reminders about life, honestly. So our second ever episode, we are talking about building confidence in your 20s. And I'm just going to share my tips and tricks that I've learned over the past couple years. Mind you, I am only 22. I have only lived on this earth for 22 years. I don't know everything about everything. Today, I'll be sharing my own experiences, um, tips on how to fake it until you make it, and how to be comfortable in your own skin because I think we all could use a reminder on how to do these things sometimes. Confidence, it is the key to life. No one has anything figured out. They're just confident and figuring it out as they go. Your favorite creators and your favorite actresses and actors and celebrities, everyone is just figuring out as they go. Nobody has a roadmap from God and says, here you go. Here's the roadmap to your life and how to be perfect. As an actress, I have learned that confidence can be faked. <laughs> you have to convince your brain that you are confident. I recently went to a social event where there were people in my industry and I don't really didn't really know anybody there. I just kind of showed up because it was helping promote my brand and what I do as an actress. And there were a lot of people there that I know I probably needed to meet and people that I wanted to hear their stories and watch their films and other stuff like that. So that's the backstory of the party. When I walked in, I didn't really know anyone's names. I had seen a few familiar faces, but I honestly didn't know anyone there. But I rolled my shoulders back. I kept my chin high and I walked in with my little, you know, my little strut on, not too much, but that confident little walk pace strut. And I surveyed the room and I said, oh, there's wine over there. And already somebody came up to me and started talking to me because I am confident. And I give that air of calm and cool and collected. Obviously fake. I'm freaking out on the inside. All right. <laughs> The more you act confident, the more your brain and heart and body will believe it. I am a huge overthinker and inside my little anxiety bug is just like bouncing off the walls of my body and I can't get it to shut up ever. What I do to eliminate those thoughts of self-doubt is I just convince myself that I'm confident, that I am the shit. You don't have to be the best to be confident. You don't have to know what you're talking about to be confident. Look at me right now. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And I'm, I'm, I'm confident, right? <laughs> so next, we're going to talk about embracing your mistakes. I know that nobody likes to mess up and it's embarrassing and you don't want, you want everybody else to think you're perfect, but we're not. We're human. We're going to mess up. I frequently have messed up throughout this video already. I don't know if you guys can tell, but <laughs> we need to embrace our mistakes because obviously that's how we learn and that's how we grow as a person. Those little mistakes throughout the day, I'm talking about dropping something at work and having everybody stare at you. And instead of your face turning red and you're so embarrassed, why don't you laugh at yourself? If you can laugh at yourself, Others can't use it against you. I just graduated from college with an acting degree. So a lot of my college career was standing up in front of a bunch of people and failing a lot and embarrassing myself a lot. And I'm still not the best by far, but I'm still going to go up there and I'm going to do my best. And if I fumble and lose my way, I'm going to take a breath, collect myself, and I'm going to keep going because I do have the confidence to get better. I do have the confidence to be the best that I can be, but I have to make mistakes and I have to fail to do that. And I know it's the stupidest thing ever. And I know this sounds dumb. If somebody else told me this, I'd say, well, duh, obviously, like, that's kind of dumb. It's kind of obvious, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, next, we're going to be talking about being comfortable in your own skin. For my girlies out there, this one is kind of tough. So let's talk about it. I think a lot of us struggle with being comfortable in our own skin just because, I mean, I was scrolling on TikTok today and I'm like, oh, well, I don't have that body and oh, I don't have that hair and oh, I don't have my lips done like that. That's why I don't get on social media sometimes. Every time I get on, there is something that I don't have that I see that I want or I think that I need to be. But why can't we just be ourselves and be comfortable in our own skin and dress the way that we want to dress that makes us feel comfortable? 
I like wearing baggy clothes. I like wearing sweatpants and hoodies, having my hood up, wearing full socks and slides. Like, that is what I would live in, even in summer. Like, I know it's hot, but like, come on, I want to live in a sweatshirt and a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Second, I think being alone is a really big part of being comfortable in your own skin. I know some people recommend like going on dates by yourself, going to dinner by yourself and blah, blah, blah. I have a boyfriend and obviously if I'm going to go out to dinner, we're going to go out together. One of the practices that I do is putting my phone down and turning the TV off and spending maybe 10 minutes alone while I empty the dishwasher or just sitting which I can't do that very often, but taking a shower. We are all so drawn in by media nowadays that we can't do anything without watching a video, listening to a podcast, watching your favorite TV show. I know that's the day and age that we live in currently, but also let's put our freaking phones down and hear our own thoughts for a second, right? I know that's uncomfortable and many of us, need to go to therapy to be comfortable living in our own thoughts for maybe like 10 minutes a day before you go to bed instead of turning your show on fall asleep picturing the the exact life that you want or all your goals or the great day that you're gonna have tomorrow i don't know just try it maybe for two minutes maybe for five minutes i mean i'm watching cody co videos while i'm I don't know, putting away my laundry. Like I can't, I can't not have something in the background. So we don't hear our own thoughts anymore. So crazy. So I challenge you to set your phone down for maybe five minutes a day and just be alone with yourself and hear your own thoughts. I know I don't want to either, but we got to do it. Okay, guys, <laughs> we got to be confident this year. This is hot girl summer confidence. Okay. And last but not least, I am going to be talking about confidence on social media. I am one of the biggest people to say, oh my gosh, I cannot post on social media because I don't have enough followers. My friends and family will see it. Okay, yes. Yes, that's all true. But why can't we have the confidence to just say, F it, and I'm going to do it anyways. You're being authentically you, and you're taking pictures of things that you like, and I guarantee you that someone's going to relate to you and be like, oh, that girl's really cool. I love the way she can braid her hair like that. Oh, that girl's really cool. I love the way... She goes and does trips with her boyfriend on the weekends. Somebody can relate to you on some topic that you like. Go post on social media. And if you get some haters, congratulations. That means that you're so confident, so hot, so outgoing, so lovable, that people have to hate on you to try to bring you down because they feel bad about themselves, okay? Even these YouTube videos, I... I'm faking it till I make it and I'm having confidence and I'm putting myself out there. So I also challenge you to post a little bit on social media and you can achieve a lot of confidence just through social media. All right, so take away from this video, we're gonna fake it till we make it. We're gonna laugh at ourselves when we make a mistake. We're gonna be comfortable alone, put our phone down every once in a while, and we're gonna start posting our authentic selves, okay? Just remember that confidence is a journey. It doesn't happen in a day. I mean, it didn't happen in a day for me. I, I still struggle with being confident every single day with everything I do. Keep practicing and you will become more confident every single day. We can do this together. If you guys have any confidence tips that I might not have covered or just something that you like to do that I maybe didn't mention in this video, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video for me. Subscribe if you like this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.